Hey there, speculators, it's Rod. Futures on fire, part of TDG, the Traders Dev Group, where we make software and strategies for the active trader. Hey, in this video, I'm going to uh, go into a little bit more depth because I've now gotten, I don't know, 10 or 15 questions about this, and uh, no surprise, I only have 98 subscribers on this channel. We're just getting started, little fledgling channel. I'm never gonna be a big YouTuber, but hopefully I'm providing some value here. And of those 98 subscribers, I have one video down here called How to Connect a Broker Tradeavate to Trading View, and that one has over 1,500 views. So not a surprise, I've gotten some follow-up questions on exactly how it works. So I thought I, um, I provided most of the information in that video. I'll put a link to this video in this particular video I'm recording right now. But in today's video, what I'm gonna do is strap yourself in because I don't post edit these videos at all. I just go straight into it. So this could be five minutes, it could be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I don't know. My goal is to show you exactly the ways that you can actually get real-time futures data into TradingView, okay? If you're not familiar with TradingView, it's this very popular online trading platform that you see right here. You can go to tradingview.com. When it comes to web-based charting, I think they're essentially second to none. And now what we're finding, and myself included, after spending maybe 20 plus years trading, and I still do, on um, Windows client-based uh, trading applications, I have moved over some of my swing trading to both mobile and web. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, how you get actual real-time data into TradingView. But let me, give you, let me give you a little bit of really quick background because there's some confusing on this. If you go over to, Google's always your friend, and I'm gonna Google TradingView uh, paid plans, right? Because this is a question I get asked all the time. So we'll go down and we'll find uh, the paid plans, something like this right here. And I already have one of these plans here, so it's showing Anyhow, if you scroll down, you can look at all the various benefits of having one of these particular plans. But what you're gonna notice is none of them, including even premium, is gonna come with real-time futures data, okay? So all the plans come with three different data packages included. That is going to be real-time stocks, real-time crypto, and real-time Forex. So I think if you just go with this little pro plan here, which is well worth the $14.95 investment, and again, you can look what the annual discounts are if you wanna commit for a year, you're gonna get real-time stocks, you're gonna get real-time Forex, you're gonna get real-time crypto. You are not in any of these plans gonna get real-time futures data, okay? I'm a predominantly a futures trader, that's what this video is gonna be about, how you actually get futures data into TradingView, and then we're gonna go through that in a little bit more detail. Now, what's, what's cool about having real-time data, which again is for stocks, forex, and futures included in your pro plan, is that you can then come in and use the little paper account right here. I'll go into this in a little bit more detail. As long as you have real-time data, you can paper trade using the paper trading demo account within TradingView. Really nice to back test, really nice to forward test, really nice to just, it's a great paper trading account where you can paper trade your forex trades, your crypto trades, and your stock trades. But if you want to, real time um, do paper trading on trading view you are going to need a real-time feed for futures if you want to do it for futures so i'll show you how to do that so the benefit of having real-time data is then you can paper trade futures on the trading view platform which is pretty cool and then of course you can also choose to trade live to your futures account all right so Let's go through this in a little bit more detail. I am logged into TradingView. We just talked about the TradingView plans. You do have to have at least a pro plan to do all of this stuff. So you're gonna start with this $15 a month investment um, at a minimum. Okay, once you're logged in and on a chart, uh, down here you'll see this trading panel. In the video that I'll create a link to, I was a little sloppier before. Now I've figured out how this works a little bit better. You don't have to like drag it up like this. Okay, you don't have to do that. You can actually just come in here and hit this panel right here, all right? And as of the time I'm making the video, these are all of the various brokers that uh, TradingView has a relationship with. Um, I would suggest that you actually click on each one and learn what they're all about. So for instance, I never, I thought Alpaca was a Forex broker. When you actually click on the learn more here, just as an example, here is Alpaca. And it turns out Alpaca is a Silicon Valley, Northern California based uh, kind of a free stock trading place where you can run some of your algos and trade trade stocks. You might want to check check that out. Um, I was unaware of any bro stock, actual stock broker other than TradeStation that was connected. So here's one right there. So at your own L-E-I-S-U-R-E, -E, at your own leisure, you can check out these various brokers, okay? Now there are three places that you can actually get futures data. One of them is called Tradeavate. That's the other video that's gotten this 1500 views where I go into it in quite a bit of detail, but I'm gonna go into more detail here because there's still some questions about it. 
So you can get real-time futures data with Tradeavate, you can get real-time futures data with TradeStation, and you can get real-time futures data with AMP. So the story is going to be the same for all of them. If you choose one of these three, then you'll be able to connect your live account to TradingView and then get real-time futures data, which you see right over here on the right-hand side. These are real-time quotes. And then the benefit of that is you can, one, trade the paper account on TradingView because you have real-time futures data. And then two, you can trade your live account if you want through the Trade of Eight, excuse me, the Trading View website if you'd like through their online platform. Uh, again, I won't get into too much detail as why you want to do that versus trade directly on TradeStation or directly on one of the many, many platforms that AMP supports or directly on the Trade of Eight web-based platform. The answer is it really depends on your personal preference. Myself, I have a number of different um, strategies that I run that I've coded with my developers that are actually plotting signals right here on the chart for me. Okay, It's a lot easier for me to do this on TradingView than it is for me to port this code over to those various platforms. So that's why I'll enter some of my swing trading positions directly off the TradingView uh, website or the online platform, if you will. Okay, now we're six minutes in. Let's get into exactly how this works. And I'm going to do it from the uh, trade of eight standpoint. So the first thing you need, the first ingredient here is you have to have a live trade of eight account. Okay, so this is the actual platform. Let me open up another browser here. Actually, let's just do it through here. Okay, I'm going to go to learn more right there. The information's all right here in the sort of um, marketplace version of trading view. And here's all about trade of eight. Here's one of the things that's very nice about Tradeavate right here, $250 minimum deposit. Okay, so I have a number of accounts at Tradeavate. I have one account that I use just to test really small micro strategies and that I actually just deposited $250. Now, fortunately I have that up to a little over a thousand now, so it gives me a little bit more flexibility, but you can just deposit the $250, then get a data plan from Tradeavate and then connect it here and voila, okay? So uh, you click on, tradeofate.com right here, go through the account opening process, it's dead simple, deposit your $250, and then you're going to have uh, a login to their web-based platform that looks like this. Your friend is going to be right over here, which is this little gear icon, okay? And then under the gear icon, you're gonna have market data, all right? And here's their market data program plans, okay? So depending on what you want, um, I, won't, I won't get into, data is still a little complex, um, Unfortunately, it still is, but the CME group plan right here is going to get you most of everything you need. NYMEX is where most um, where most uh, energy products are traded. COMEX is where a lot of metal metals products are traded. The CBOE, for instance, has the uh, Dow Jones product, the CME. So I have everything here and I pay $39 a month, but you'll see I also have market depth. Okay, this is really important. If you do not need to have a dome, okay, or you don't use indicators that require market depth and you would know that or not, you don't have to have market depth. You can get away with all this for just about nine bucks, nine to twelve dollars. If you just want to have real-time data, top of book, so that you can see a chart and you could trade the paper account on TradingView and you could also um, trade your live account, you don't need to have market depth. If you trade with a dome, which I won't get into now, dome is basically like a price ladder, then you're going to need to have market depth or it will look a little weird inside both TradingView and Tradeavate, the platform itself, all right? So you could probably get away with something around nine to $12 in here. Um, once you open up your Tradeavate account, deposit $250, pay your data fees right out of that $250, set up a plan for about nine to 12 bucks, okay? So that's the mechanics of actually getting the uh, account that you need here, Tradeavate open. Okay, now I won't go through everything in that other video, I'll create a link to it. In the other video then, I give you exactly the steps necessary to then connect your Trade of Eight account to TradingView to trade live. But there are still some questions about exactly how you get the data. Will you get the beta from your broker? And this would be the same if you go to TradeStation or if you go to AMP. You're going to select a program, you're gonna deposit some money, you're gonna have your data plan through those brokers, and then you're gonna connect your broker to trade of eight. You can watch the other video for exactly how that works. All right. So hopefully that was helpful in terms of the mechanics of how it works. And again, you can get away with all of this for $15 a month for trading view, at least a pro plan, $250 deposit, 10 to 12 ish dollars for most of your futures data. And then there's one additional charge. And I described that in the, uh, in the, in the other video, which is that 
trade ovate or trading view i still don't know charges an additional ten dollar connection fee to connect your broker to trading view all right so those are all the fees they're not insignificant but again if you're looking to get into any business you're going to have some startup costs and if you're serious about futures which in my humble opinion are the best markets to learn how to day trade then it's a very insignificant investment all right now a little bonus for watching here to the end google's your friend i'm going to go over here type in cqg.tradingview.com okay that's cqg.tradingview.com and look at this interview interface that comes up it's the, actually the cqg trading interface now you can apply for between 14 and 21 days of free data through cqg uh, i haven't tried this in a, about seven or eight months i'm imagining it still works so i thought it was easier just go to cqg that's charlie question george dot tradingview.com it'll take you to this place and then you're going to hit demo count all right this is going to take you to this particular page you don't have to worry about this whole url if you just follow along with what i said first name last name email hit continue and i believe they are still extending two-week trials of real-time data from cqg this video won't get into there's a lot of different ways to get access to data cqg is one of the data providers that can do that so that might be another thing if you just wanted to try out data on TradingView, see if it's something for you rather than go through the 250 fifty dollar deposit at trade of eight and the ten dollars and the fifth you know all those kinds of things i believe though you're going to at a minimum going to have to have a pro plan at trading view even to use this data in the uh, interface all right hopefully that was helpful if you have any questions or comments about it, if you, um, you can leave a comment below. I'll try to respond to it as best I can. And if you like this video and the type of content, it really helps out the channel and helps out some of the things that I'm doing. If you could leave a little like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, you know the whole deal. Uh, until next time, my name is Rod. Stay green. Trade like you mean it.